So I wanted to do a quick video today on what are the three fastest ways you can get your name crossed off a coach's follow list when he's out watching you. Number one, obvious, I think anyone can guess this, is lack of hustle. If a coach sees you fly out to right field and you're just jogging mad at yourself down the first baseline, I've sat with so many coaches who see that and instantly shake their head and all of a sudden you're way further down on that recruiting. Why is that? Because when that happens in a game in college baseball at the highest levels, one, that ball falls and you're not on second or third, that's an extra 90, 180 feet that you could be closer to scoring. If you do do that, I can guarantee you're gonna get chewed in the dugout, maybe even pulled out of the game. The second thing is bad body language. If you're on the mound and you give up a home run or you're in the box and you strike out and you're pouting, looking down, slowly walking back to the dugout or you're on the mound throwing up your hands, mad at yourself, taking it out possibly even on your other teammates, that's another way where coaches are gonna possibly scratch your name off a list. Now, the caveat with a lot of this is the guys that are those highest ranked players obviously are gonna get away with this more than your average player in college baseball. When guys are that good, they're gonna get opportunities scholarship wise, you know, no matter how they act on the field. Now, that will probably hurt them down the line, but if you're a guy who's considered by some to be an average player in college baseball, you have to do more things right than those guys. You have to be the guy that hustles every time. You have to be the guy that no matter what the situation, your body language is the same. You look like it doesn't phase you. And, and then lastly, you know, and I touched on it earlier, the third thing would be blaming your teammates. If you're on the mound and your shortstop makes an error and the guy reaches base and comes around and scores and it's obvious to tell that you're frustrated with the shortstop or you're talking to him on the way back to the dugout, again, it just goes to show to a coach that you may not be the best teammate. And why is that important? Because at the end of the day in college baseball, usually the teams that are not just talented, but also have good cohesion among the entire team, those are the guys that go deep into the postseason, win their conference championships, make it to a super regional or college world series. So I hope this helps the guys out there getting recruited. And those are the three ways that I think you'll get your name scratched off a coach's follow list as fast as possible.